Seattle's Shahuli Garden and Glass and Traver Gallery are teaming up to present a new exhibit this weekend at Refract Seattle Glass Experience Festival. That exhibit will feature creations from artists featured in Netflix's Blown Away Season 4. And winner of that show, artist uh, Morgan Peterson, the museum's uh, assistant director, Taryn Coles, joins Tyra from the Arc Lounge to talk about this really cool festival coming up this weekend. Hey this there. This is exciting, Steve. Yeah. We love our neighbor right across the street, right, Jahuli? Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you for having of us. Of course. So Morgan, I'll start with you. Mm -hmm. Just first off, talk about your art, your artistic style and, mm -hmm. and your passion. I mean, you've done this for so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done it for so long, <laughs> over 20 years now. But I, you know, uh, a lot of what I like to reference in my work is what's going on culturally all around us. Nothing's off limits, so, you know, things that can strike nerves with people mm -hmm. or things that bring us happiness and joy. Right now I'm working on a series of uh, engraved portraits of my favorite artists in Seattle, which all are drag performers. So, I love that. yeah, so the highlighting the beauty in drag and the artistic form of it and how influential it is to our pop culture and our zeitgeist. It definitely is. Yeah. I love that representation. Mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and Steve just mentioned you were featured on a Netflix show called mm -hmm. Blown Away, yes. season four. You, you won. I did. Congratulations. I did. Thank you. We Thank love you. that, you know, yeah. local Seattle tie. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like being on that show and, and, and winning? It was an amazing experience. It's, I, you know, I think a wonderful opportunity for the glass community to have such a highlight on it and to be shown across, you know, the whole country, not only the country, but the world. And it just really brings light to what we do. It's just a, such a niche uh, art form. So it's really nice to have that, you know, representation, but it's, sure. it's been great. It's been uh, a dream come true, really. Of course. Yeah. Well, let's talk more about the glass community. Mm -hmm. You're a full-time team member for Dale Chihuly mm -hmm. as well. Uh, we're, a lot of us here in the area have been to Chihuly, but if, if people haven't yet, talk more about this, this exhibit coming to the festival and, and what people can expect to see. So I've worked for Dale for quite some time. He's, you know, a huge inspiration in my work, how he runs a team and the people I get to work with are all very, we're all very good friends. But a lot of how I make my work and what's shown up at Traver is it's a lot of teamwork. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of, a lot of people to make one thing happen. It's not just me, but it's like you can see that in the work. So, you know, I, I reference Dale a lot in everything that I do, but what, you know, everyone is very different that's represented at yeah. Traver, but it, there is a common thread of uh, teamwork and support that's and camaraderie. Yeah, yeah, that community is yeah. great. And, and Taryn, I'll bring you in now. Yeah. Sixth annual Refract Festival. This is exciting. Can you just talk about how this festival began and what is it? Sure. So we are celebrating our sixth year of Refract, the Seattle Glass Experience. It is the nation's largest glass art festival, wow. uh, October 17th through the 20th. Um, we will kick it all off with a big party mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow night at Chihuly Garden and Glass. It, it will be the event of the year, so you can still find out information about that and the 100 other events wow. um, and 70 artists participating over the next four days by going to refractseattle.org. And the way it really started, um, Decades ago, Dale Chihuly really put Seattle on the map mm -hmm. for the glass art community and started inviting artists out to collaborate when he started Pilchuck Glass School. Mm -hmm. And artists have continued to flock to this area ever since because of that collaboration that Morgan was talking about and the ability to really innovate and push the envelope on the medium when all those artists are coming together. So we had this kind of assumption that Seattle was the epicenter of glass art in America. And uh, about 10 years ago, we decided to put that assumption to the test uh. and um, created a survey that went out nationally to really look at this landscape of glass art in America. And one of the things that we were testing was, what is the epicenter of glass art? Mm. And it turned out we do have the most hot shops in the area. We do have the most working glass artists working right here in America. And that's why when you look at a show like Blown Away, there's an artist like Morgan yes. there. And every season has had artists from Seattle. Wow. So Seattle really is a mecca for glass it art. Is. It's an amazing 
point of local mm -hmm. pride that I think maybe some of your viewers aren't aware of. I'm just learning myself. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that history. So you mentioned several hundred artists are taking uh, part in this festival this weekend, mm -hmm. lots of different demos and exhibits. Can you describe some of the other things people might experience? Yeah, so there are so many things happening over the next four days. It is happening all over the greater Seattle area. There is a concentration of events right here in Seattle. Most things are free okay. and kid friendly. And so there's a lot for families and adults to do. There are some 21 over events like our kickoff party at yeah. Blue Garden and Glass, but most of them are free. Um, there will be glass demonstrations of uh, glass blowing from some of the best artists wow. in the area. There is also a great diversity of the medium represented in this festival. So you have mosaic, mm. glass blowing, but also fused glass, kiln cast glass, neon, all kinds of different things. People pushing the envelope of the medium in very different mm -hmm. ways. I don't want to miss this. Steve, you heard her um, party of the year, event yes. of the year tomorrow, the kickoff at Chihuly. I like the sound <laughs> of that. We do have such a remarkable glass community we here do. in Western Washington. And congrats to folks like Morgan yes. who are just doing a fantastic job. Yeah, I think congrats to you both. And this is going to be an awesome th event and a great festival. Really fun. Yeah, thank you both for coming thank on. Thank you for having us. Can't Steve. wait for it. Yeah, to learn more about this event, find more information on opening night tomorrow. Tomorrow, just scan that QR code that's popping up on the corner of your screen. It will take you to comonews.com slash hotlinks, and from there, you're going to find a link to the event's website. should be fun.